So this time, this time we will um, finish our pomegranate, and we will crochet on the front loops of the last round uh, with the red thread. Again, to give that feeling of the cracked open um, pomegranate. And if you ever did this, if you ever tried to open pomegranate, you know how it looked like. I even posted a picture of the pomegranate for you to see. So those loops are front, but I'm turning them in such a way that they will be <clears throat> back for me. Back loops, but still I treat them as front and I will call them front loops. I turn them this way because it's easier, it will be easier to crochet and pick up first loop of the stitch of the round six, connect thread, and throughout this uh, last round I will of course work and crochet around this short tail. This way I don't have to weave it in. I'm trying to finish my work in such a way when I use colors that I will end up only with one thread to weave in. So we made a slip stitch here, we can make um, next stitch. Again, we're going to the loops, front loop of the round six. Single crochet stitch, and since this is uh, outer edge and we crochet, um, we will have to expand a little bit our edge. You sometimes can crochet two stitches in one stitch. So I made slip stitch single crochet, I'll make chain one, have double crochet into the next stitch. And there is a trick, um, something that you probably will have a question in the written instructions. It's difficult to explain, it's something I did on my own. So leave this short tail on the back. We will move forward and make one stitch, single crochet stitch, on the uh, side of that decorative edge with gold color. Pick up stitch that is easy to insert the hook in. If you crochet tight it will be sometimes not easy. And crochet in that side. I had just a side and I left it. Okay, right here. Crochet in that stitch, double crochet, uh, I'm sorry, single crochet stitch. It will give you um, this kind of wavy look. Your uh, red edge, the uneven edge, will be not just uneven uh, by itself by height, but also in positioning of this piece. So now I was on the gold, now I'm coming back. You can hear for your ease make chain one and make single crochet stitch or half double crochet stitch or next will be half double. Moving back onto the um, round in red and crocheting those front loops of the round six. Again, I will make chain one. Chain ones are for also for a reason to make the um, edge even more uneven. Now I have single crochet. As you see, I use slip stitch, single crochet have double crochet, it does not really matter. Um, you just change them. Change them quite a bit to have that uneven look. And again I will move to the front. At this time I have a half a bubble done and I hid enough within this short tail. I can cut it off. They will not come out. And now I will again make uh, on the side pick up stitch on the gold area or you can even crochet into that loop here 
You can make your slip stitch, but I notice that single crochet look much better. Connect and chain one to move back. And when you move back, you can make a double, uh, I'm sorry, half double or a single crochet stitch. It is not a big deal here. As soon as you are constantly changing the height, and you see how it works, you see? I moved a little bit to the front and it's just shifted a little bit so it allows me to shift my opening it's almost like a ruffle try not to make totally ruffle effect but um, this time I will move again to the front and pick up stitch here and make single crochet stitch Again, I will move back. And so this is how you crochet that um, last decorative edge. Coming closer to the petals and again I will move one more time I connect it to the front and this time I will move to the back pick up that loop make their single crochet slip stitch or whatever I need so I made single crochet I'm close to my petals and I will make also slip stitches around the edges of petals will con connect uh, crochet them into the each uh, stitch of the edge of the petal. Before I will go to the petals, I will right next to the petals, the first stitch in front, make slip stitch there. Kind of transition to the to allow you get closer to the petals, and crochet those stitches, slip stitches, right into the edge those petals of petals and make slip stitches this will allow your petals look a little bit better crispier they will have better shape and they will not be looking like they are dried out leaves um, on the edge or in the corner on the tip the correct word tip where the tip of the petal uh, I made one side of slip stitches at the tip I will make chain one and continue uh, with slip stitches on the other edge of the petal this is a very tiny work it's not easy project um, if you want to practice and try it I would recommend you to use thread number five and crochet hook one millimeter or if it's not easy grab the hook 1.25 millimeters so first petal is done try to make slip stitch right between the petals if it's not easy continue crochet and make slip stitches into the edges of petals itself. <clears throat> so remember one side of petal slip stitches then when you come to the tip of the petal this is when you make chain one so we have at the tip chain one it will make you when you make chain one it will make your petals have a sharper tips as the real pomegranate has if you study pictures of pomegranates this is how they will look like those petals are pointy Uh, 
last last battle. This is kind of challenging part here. Not easy to crochet them. I was even thinking if you um, can start from those battles or make them after round five before you insert the bead inside probably will be easier to crochet and decorate them with slip stitches so this is another possibility you can try that that way you don't have to deal with this at the end just crochet the edges insert the, the bead first crochet the edges and last slip stitch in the petal here and another one slip stitch just between the petal last petal and the edge right in here it's done we can cut our thread off and as before weave thread on the back of the bubble of course on the back somewhere probably in leaves but it's easier to weave in those rows where the bubble is so this is how it will look like and here's some more little pomegranates just make sure to weave in thread in this one that I made and if you want this to be a pin you can use uh, pins like that you can purchase at um, the on online uh, pins they call pins nothing I, I don't, they don't have another name uh, you can look for those pins at Joanne or Hobby Lobby and crochet uh, with this thread so cut thread longer if you want this to be a pin and move thread on the side or on the center here the way you like I notice that it will look much better the way I made it and place the pin on the uh, side of the pin so this can be a pin or you can finish here and attach later thread somewhere or in the center that it will come from the center or on the side somewhere make long chain and make it as decorative little hanging pieces from the scarf that you're making that some of you are making and uh, just decorate it the way you want as a small piece embellishment for decorating your uh, projects <music>